Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. Do you have old low-end computer at home? Do you want to install latest Windows 11 on those old machines, such as only one gig RAM, one CPU core? You may wondering how that possible. In this video, I'm gonna show you a new way to install tiny Windows 11 on your old computer, even you only have just one gig RAM or just one core CPU. It is still possible, and it will run in smooth. You will get the latest Windows update and the security patch. Now, let's start it. Tiny Ten and Tiny Eleven project is developed by NT Dev. Whole project is hosted on archive.org. You should be able to search Tiny Ten, Tiny Eleven from Google, and then find our website. The main purpose for Tiny Ten, Tiny Eleven is to be installed on low-end machine. They have been testing. Windows 11 on 200 meg of RAM old machine to run. Yes, it is very slow, but it's still possible with 200 megabytes of RAM to run. If you have an old machine such only one gig RAM, two gig RAM, or one core CPU or dual core CPU, run Tiny 10, Tiny 11 will be perfect fine. It's gonna be smooth, and you also will get. Lots of benefits from there, which you might not need minimum system requirement TPM module. You don't need it anymore. You can install it directly on it. Hard drive space is minimum. Only six point thirty four gigabyte hard drive will be required for Windows eleven, comparing to twenty two gigabytes by default installation with Windows eleven. You also will get a Windows update. Microsoft Store also included in the new release. The downloading and the installation should be same and very straightforward. So in this video, I'm gonna present the whole process. You will see how fast it will be and how low the resources requirement. Let's start from the downloading. Once you search the Tiny 11 from the Google website, then you should be able to get this Tiny 11 NT Dev. The website is archive.org. Open it directly. You may ask to log in to see the more information. I have been logged in just using the email address. You can register account. Once you logged in, you can get the download options. There's a four files under. ISO image file section. So there's a beta two, R one release one, beta one, and there's a no sys requirement. That's the one we need. For those old machines, you might not have TPM module. By default, Windows 11 will not let you to install it. So you need to get this no system requirement version to download it. The downloading actually is very slow. It takes a couple of hours. If you need faster downloading, I will give you a link in my blog post. You will find it from my list videos description. Download from there, much faster. So it will take about three hours. So now I'm gonna pause my video, stop it, and since I already downloaded, I'm gonna just directly start into install it. Assuming you already downloaded this 3.6 gig ISO file, comparing to regular Windows 11 more than 5 gig ISO file, this is much smaller. I'm gonna use VMware Workstation 16 Player to demonstrate in the installation process. You will see how fast it will be, and you will see how low the resources is required. I'm gonna play the whole video two times faster to make this video shorter. 
and also I'm gonna mute myself, just play a music. Now let's start the installation. Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me Turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease Bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some need us to the face Baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything Thing just fade away cause she's like sex, sex drugs, cocaine, body so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on that tight frame All game, no shame, baby came here to play I feel like an addict cause she's sex drugs, cocaine Finally think you're wounded Then it's your 
chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless The whole installation took about 40 minutes. It's already really fast, so I already compressed the video to half the size. But you can skip that part directly come into this part to see how the performance and how the system looks like. We know this is stripped down Windows version. There are lots of features has been cut off. But those core functions, as you can see here, all are kept. Device manager, disk manager, computer manager, file explorer, PowerShell, all are here. You even have Windows, Microsoft Store. Let's take a look at resource consumption. The CPU, we are using two virtual CPU here. The CPU is mostly minimum since we are not doing anything here. The memory, 2 gig RAM, it's 50% usage right now, much smaller than full size Windows. When it's running, it took about 10 gigabytes your local drive which comparing to the 22 gigabytes for the regular Windows consumption, it's already minimum here. So as said, this is going to be a good option when you have an old, aged computer. You want to let it run some systems rather than running Linux and Chrome OS. This gives you another opportunity to run Windows 11 with latest version and lots of other possibility to run Windows applications comparing to other OS system. How about the Windows 10? I did try Windows 10 as well, Tiny 10. So I'm using one gig RAM, one process here. So let's see how it looks like 
and running it from my VMware workstation. Even with one gig RAM, one virtual CPU, it still runs very well. The starting process is very quick. The whole booting time, less than a minute. I installed Opera as a browser to try. So it also supports most of uh, Windows applications, most of the uh, core Windows features also shows here. We can see the system. It's based on Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC. I haven't activated my Windows 10, Windows 11, but you can easily find a way to activate your Windows machine. So we are using one gig RAM. This is same, so half size of memory being used. CPU is minimum. For disk, let's take a look how much space it took. I already did a couple of updates, so this is only like five gigabytes hard drive usage here, half size of RAM Windows 11, much smaller than regular Windows 10. So if you need to do Windows activation, so here is a way you can find out uh, this Microsoft LAN document using the KMS. So for Windows um, 10 LTSC version, you can find out the key here. Then you can use the command such as SLMGR to enter the key and then activate it. Also do the auto renew. There's three commands which you can find out from online. So as said, Windows 10, Windows 11 is great alternation for your old computers. That is all for my videos today. I hope you enjoyed it, get some useful information from this video. You can find the uh, download the link from this video description, my blog post. See you in my next video.